if you find yourself a gun dog trainer and he wears a cravat and he's dressed up to the nine pins trust me he doesn't get down and dirty with his dogs other people do it for him you want to find yourself a gun dog trainer that actually works with the dogs because it's a messy job and we can all get dressed up to promote things if we want to you know what I mean you know what I mean all about sales what do you think Chris well I think that what you've got to do you've got to get a film crew to follow you around and you've got to gloss over the videos and uh, pretend that you don't live in the same world as everybody else okay there's dust on the baby but I'm not scratching the doors I'm not taking it down lanes and up hill and over dale this one will go off road but this one will go off road with ease could it do with a little bit more ground clearance yes it could i'd like it to have a little bit more ground clearance but this is the uh, mule pro x mx look electronic power steering it's got quite a bit of kit in it it's a very handy tool for what i do for dog training and like i i show people um, it, I've kitted it out the way I want it I like the little doors on it although they're small it makes customers feel secure I like the little butt on it it doesn't have to be massive a lot of heat comes up through here in the summer so it makes it quite warm in the cab in the summertime but you can open the front windows it doesn't come with the roof and the windows you have to pay that extra and there's other things you can put on. You can put a winch on, you can put a number of other things. Like I say, I've had it a year now and I've done the full mileage that now needs the service. It now needs the service. And the service is 100 quid for, for your service. So in here, we've had this box specially made. As you can see, it was lovely and clean and special. I could polish everything and pose. I could go around posing. As you know, I can pose. Um, but at the end of the day, we keep our gun, gun dog gear in here. So when I take a customer down the road, we've got all the kit with us in the mule. And the reason we've had to take a different direction is because people know who've been watching me for a while that they are building houses in the field. And they're building houses in the field. So now we're restricted that we can't really go in the field as they put a barrier up, look, and they're starting the work. So technically a lot of customers with new dogs would go out there i wouldn't need to take the mule out so the mule goes out so much more now but why have i gone from a big four before over to the volvo well i can the four before can only get so many dogs in there this can get as many dogs in there it can be used for longer trips because i'm traveling more now to teach all around the country Chris Upton is coming to you. Now, you don't want him looking scruffy, do you? You would like him looking reasonably smart. So, so what's my opinion about the Green Hornet? It's noisy. It's not from Hong Kong. It's from Japan. It does what it says on the tin. It gets you there. It gets you there faster than the diesel. It gets along a little bit quicker. So you're not holding up traffic. You can take it most places. What don't I like about it? I don't like the fact it's as noisy as it is. It's not that good on fuel, being petrol compared to the diesel. But everything in life is a compromise. I keep telling people, everything in life is a compromise. It's better than bloody walking everywhere at my age. Because to be honest with you, I want your answers on a postcard. Do you think I look sexy in this green Kawasaki with black? Or do you think you prefer me in green? Like Robin Hood. Robin Hood. No, but he only robbed from the rich, didn't he? He didn't rob from the poor. What a load of shite that was. He robbed from anyone, wouldn't he? From Nottingham, wouldn't he? From Nottingham. Well, Pierre will know that.